guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my very ambitious but I'm really probably not going to get to all of them February TBR. I know I talked about it in my last video, um, I didn't really give myself hard goals this year just because I want to make reading fun again. Um, but one of my goals truly for myself is to make a dent in the books that are by my bedside which are my TBR books, my review books, things of that nature um, and that's just a goal of mine for myself while still making it fun. Um, so all the books that are on this list are books from my review shelf but one thing too is I'm not limiting myself so if there is a book that pops up in the middle of the month that I just have to read or want to read I am going to read it because I have found that I'm a very big mood reader I am just gonna jump right into the TBR um, it's a little ambitious again I know I'm probably not gonna finish close to all of these but these were the ones that just kind of were screaming at me when I was over by my shelf picking books and I just really would like to prioritize these so here we go. The first book is After She Falls by Carmen Schober and this is a book with an MMA fighter and I just think that that's super unique um, and I've just been in the mood recently for like a sports type book and I know on top of that that it's like just a cool topic. I love Carmen so so much and I am super excited to finally read one of her books. The next one I have is Enchanting Their Heiress by Christy and Hunter and this is book three in her Hearts on the Her Heath? Hearts on the Heath, I can't speak, uh, series that she wrote with Bethany House and I know it has been on my TBR for a while um, but I started it a while back and I don't I must not have been in like a historical mood. I know, crazy, believe me, because I am the queen of historical. Um, but it's about two characters that I have been anxiously awaiting to get a story from. So I'm very excited. I cannot wait to read that and also finish off the series. And then another series that I'll be finishing off is In Honor's Defense by Karen Wittemeyer and this is book three in the Hangers Horseman series. I have liked that series. Book one was not my bit favorite by any means. I really enjoyed book two and I'm super excited about book three. This and then um, I will be starting a new series uh, and this <laughs> I'm so excited. A Match in the Making by Jen Toronto. This book comes out February 21st. Jen Toronto is one of my most favorite authors in the world. She's one of my favorite humans and she's starting a new series and I'm so stinking excited and it's called The Matchmakers and it's just it's I don't even 100% don't even know what it's all about. I just know it has matchmaking and it's by Jen Toronto. Sign me up. I'll squeal about it. I'm gonna love it. So do yourself a favor pre-order it, jump on the bandwagon, February 21st, baby. So those are the four books that are like, yes, I want to read them. I'm really going to try to prioritize these four. Um, but then I have a couple more, and it's more so books by these authors. So I have two options. Um, and it might just be like, which book sounds better? So, I have Jamie Jo Wright. So I have The Premonition at Withers Farm and On the Cliffs of Foxglove Manor. Um, and it's going to be like which one sounds good. But I do want to read at least one of them. I'm really leaning more towards this one. Um, but this one has been on my TBR longer. <laughs> but like, I don't know. We'll see. One of them, I my goal is to at least read one of them. Then I have Joanna Davidson Politano. And I have A Midnight Dance and The Lost Melody. Some people said um, to read this one before reading this one. They like 
kind of sort of go together but then I was talking to somebody else and they said honestly it doesn't matter they're standalones you're not gonna miss anything if you read this one first um but this is about a stinking ballerina so um yeah we'll see I want to at least get one of these done again probably leaning more towards a midnight dance um but one of them is on the list. Last but not least is my beautiful Amy Lynn Green. Um, and I have The Lines Between Us and The Blackout Book Club. I'm so excited about both of these. Amy has one of the most beautiful writing styles ever. Um, and I know that once I get in it, I'm going to be just fully engrossed. But they're a little chunky. And she's like, she writes good, thick stories that are sweet and beautiful but like there's a lot going on at least from the book that I read and loved um but yeah I have two options we shall see um they're both equally telling me to read them so we shall see which one um I pick up but they're both on my TBR I would like to get at least one of them done so yeah, overall, that's the... Oh, 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 no, no, no. Memory Lane by Becky Wade. I don't have my paperback copy yet. It comes out on Valentine's Day. Um, but I'm super, super excited. I'm hoping to get that one done in the month of February as well. That is book one in um, her new series, Sons of Scandal. So I'm really excited about that one. It has, like, an amnesia trope and gives me, like, overboard vibes. And I'm super excited so that one is also on my list of things to read this month and then if anything else jumps out at me um uh, we'll see we'll see how it goes but those are the books coming off my tbr shelf that i really 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 want to prioritize and get to in the month of february so yeah let me know in the comments below what books you're reading in the month of february if you've read any of these i know quite a few of these are past releases I'm really behind the times. Again, trying to prioritize, prioritize things. Um, but yeah, let me know what you've read in the comments below. Let's chat about it. You can find reviews for all of these books once I'm done with them on my blog at fortheloveofchristianfiction.blogspot.com. You can also check out my Instagram at fortheloveofchristianfiction and all my other links are in the description box below. I think that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!